Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to No Man's Sky. I did it my way. That beacon right there is a trench racing course. I haven't figured out where to start it at. If I'd known that's what I was going to be doing, <laughs> I would have put in a starting beacon. <laughs> probably have to do it with calm balls for anyone else to enjoy it. <laughs> I renamed the planet Delphi. As in the Oracle of Delphi, which is in central Greece. I just happened to notice this wanted to happen. Uh, saw another one of them today on the space station. They looked at me like I wasn't there, stared right through me, was just a geck when I returned, imagining things. Somebody seen ghosts. Thought I already had that. Well, I have it now. <laughs> we had it on permadeath. All right. We have to take care of our frigate mission. And uh, we have to do, uh, or rather, you know, debrief the commanders. And we have to do uh, missions. Missions! <laughs> it's only, uh, it's three minutes away, I think it was, um, when I uh, looked that uh, <laughs> straight from the base to there is three minutes. But um, the course is quite a bit longer. I've already taken out most of the trees. <laughs> trees will die. <laughs> That's what happens when you do this stuff. So we'll just hang out over the top of this. And you can see it starts right here at a hollow terminus. Oh boy. Huh. Probably won't be talking much. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> it's I've only done this once, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna get lost. Ah, that's a mountain. <laughs> Turn it. You lose points for doing that, you know. <laughs> probably more pulse engines needed. <laughs> I hit the grounds a few times. There's some more trees. <laughs> One of the many, many, many things you can do on No Man's Sky. Oh! <laughs> Try doing this in a radiant pillar. Well. <laughs> I'm off course. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the canyons. <laughs> Crash avoidance doesn't work it like this. <laughs> you will hit things. Oh, I remember this one. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's not fair. <laughs> I didn't mean to pull up. <laughs> uh, I'm lost. Too close to the ground. Where? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm just clearing the trees out for anyone else that wants to do this. <laughs> More trees. <laughs> There's the most amazing thing uh, when I was on my way through this course the second time. Um, on my way back to the base is uh, I flew over it. I didn't fly in it. <laughs> there is a ton of buildings on this course. <laughs> and um, quite a few crashed freighters as well. <laughs> There's one right there. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 
I'm not terribly good at this anymore. I used to do it all the time, but uh, I flew into a, a canyon one time and crashed right straight into the wall. <laughs> you can't even see the course. I can't imagine doing this in a vehicle that had like anything high up on the back because uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see it all. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I missed that tree. <laughs> oh, 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 of course. Oh man. This is pod racing at its best. I'm sorry I missed that canyon. It was really cool the first time. <laughs> through the trees. <laughs> if you find a planet like this, man, claim it. Because these things are cool. Up over that thing. <laughs> There's a shelter right there. <laughs> I need a better mouse. <laughs> it's probably tremendously easier uh, with a controller, I would say. This is something you want to do with a controller. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> There's a building! <laughs> do I have any shields left? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta get those trees out of the way for visitors. <laughs> oh, I'm way off course now. And this is the easy part. <laughs> it's nice and wide. <laughs> when things don't render quickly. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just hitting more trees than anything else now. I need a bigger screen. Oh, can you imagine doing this in VR? Up over the shelter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's not quite a circle, you know? Um, and to get back to the start, you have to obviously go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I would anyway go back up into space. That's what I did. <laughs> This is when I wish beacons had timers on them. It's way over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just goes on forever and ever. It really does. It's sort of more of a... Uh, there's another freighter. It's sort of more of a spiral than anything else. There's an abandoned building in the way. what that was. It's not again. I've seen some manufacturing facilities too. We don't really need them now. Oh, it's a crash ship. It's a shuttle. We don't need a shuttle. <laughs> we need to go relieve those poor captains of their frigates so that they can go chill out. I think that was another minor settlement maybe. There's a ton of those along the track as well. A couple of transmission towers, shelters, abandoned buildings. <laughs> this is half speed. <laughs> I don't have my afterburners on. Gotta watch out for those caves. <laughs> Their entrances shut up out of the uh, trench a little bit.
<laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Look at how angry this guy is. Blood red nebula. <laughs> Look at the distance between the <laughs> the base and the beginning of that trench. <laughs> All right. Let's go find a place to call the fleet in. Welcome to the SS Fukuyatsap. <laughs> I won't be changing the name. <laughs> it's too good. Fukuyatsap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes ne uh, negotiating the stairs on your freighter is just as hard as negotiating a trench. Oh, did I not send them out? I'm a genius. Well, I guess we'll do the opposite. We'll send them out. <laughs> grog, grog. <coughs> Industrial, two stars. What do we got? <coughs> Looks like we have two fleets. So we will send out this guy for some experience and one more um, this trade vessel how's that look that looks good okay we have a few of those things available all right, let's see if we can find something for the other fleet to do. I have the hiccups. <coughs> Man, look at that rock. Yikes. <laughs> 21 hours. All right. That sounds good. Oh, I thought I had five ships left. That might not work. Oh, it's all right. We got more. Here we go. Everybody's gone. We need one another frigate. One another. <laughs> we need one another frigate. Okay. So, uh, we got a lot of stuff uh, from building that, the beginning of that base. Rapalum Valley. I called it Bridge House. And, uh, <coughs> can teleport into bridge house now because I moved the teleporter uh, to the inside of the building and got rid of all those containers oh, sneeze sneeze oh spring all right. so there's Delphi Newly renamed. And somewhere around here. Look at that great big ship. That's awesome. <laughs> See if we can pick up some missions some he missions here. Then we'll run by uh, Bridge House and uh, take a look at that. Pick up some missions in uh, Rotobor and uh, try to get some stuff done. My goodness, I mean, uh, Merchant's Guild, ugh. <laughs> That's right where we were yesterday. I didn't do any missions. I worked on Bridge House and uh, then I was gonna go wander around Delphi for a while and pick up some knowledge stones. That's Corvax. And I did that. Um, I picked up about, oh, 15 or 16 words, something like that. And uh, then I found that trench. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, <laughs> this looks like fun. <laughs> Do that every other day or so and 
pick up some skills. Pick up some skills. <laughs> I can't talk today. <laughs> Haven't had a lot of sleep today. I hope the sound is okay, because that was fun. <laughs> and I want to show it to you. But if the sound gets uh, trashed on a video, then I, uh, you know, I trash the whole video. That's just too hard to listen to, you know. It's very unprofessional. <laughs> All right, creatures. Found to find some of those. Uh, sentinels. I don't know. I've no, don't know what organic piping is. Um, there might be some for sale here. I'll take a look. And um, yeah, let's see if they have it. I don't know what it is. Nope. Not here. Alright. Let's take a quick look at Bridge House. And, uh, uh did it, did it, Rapalum Valley Base. There we go. Have to change that to Bridge House. I like Rapalum Valley Base too, as a name. I hope it's daytime. I haven't put in any lights in any lights yet. Looks like it's nighttime. Oh boy. Okay. It is nighttime. Alright, let's go out here. And that's a pretty good landing position. Did I lose my stairs? No. Alright. So you enter. I haven't decided what to do with this. I think I might leave it like that. I'm going to get a, a, a terbium growth or something really big to put right there. But I missed something on the way in. There it is. Two gecks in an atlas, a couple of flags. <laughs> and uh, you come in on the upstairs. There's going to be furniture all around, like tables and chairs all the way around. And I enclosed the bridge part in glass so that you can see out to the river valley. And here's the long stairs down to the other side. And I got all of this work done. We'll go ahead and turn the camera on. Turn on the sun. Turn the sun on. And maybe a little bit lower. Yeah. All right. So you can see I did all this work. Kind of get through the bracers here. Oh, that's pretty. And then up over the stairwell onto the roof. I like this roof. I think that's called a cupola, maybe. Right down here. Let's see if I can just go straight down. There we go. Now you can see through the building. I haven't painted that. I painted it sort of blue green. But I think I like this brown uh, color capped by yellow better. And then it would reverse on this side because the cap is on the bottom. So not a cap, a, a bottom. <laughs> Haven't done much about that cave. But I did do a little bit down here and I found bedrock. And uh, I don't know if I can reach it pretty far away. You can see the bedrock right there. I had a base that had a, a sort of rounded section of bedrock 
um, that came into the base back in the good old days when you could build underground and your base would stay. Whoops. <laughs> Apparently it's a long way down. That's why you need a bridge. <laughs> All right. This kept getting extended because uh, they kept digging down into the ground instead of just laying sort of flat, you know. All right. Next time we come in, uh, maybe I'll do some of the furniture with you. Um, Star Silk really isn't that expensive, especially when you get to this point in the game, you know. I might put some stuff up here, maybe some uh, employees, you know, the two that I like, <laughs> the scientist and the farmer. <laughs> All right, we are at Rotobor. My standing with the Corvax increased and my health is at maximum. I think that might be a carryover from the monolith I did on Delphi. <laughs> Big ball. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, gecky people. Hey, um, you got anything for me? <laughs> oh, thanks. Woohoo. Oh, great. More residual goop. Great. <laughs> I don't know what it means when the guild master gives you goop. There's some monstrosities. That'll help us with that kill creatures thing. And uh, this is uh, level 7 Mercen or Emergence Guild. Yeah. All right. That's two locations. I don't want to stack too many make, many locations. I think that's what what happened to the. Uh, good Lord, I can't talk today at all. <laughs> I stacked too many missions the other day, and I think that's what went wrong with them. Where are we going? Find a missing person or at the infestation site. One or the other. Everything's always on that planet. <laughs> Domino. Domino Tau. They kind of, uh, naming that other planet Delphi kind of goes with the name of this one. Well, we'll just go wherever you want us to go then. Good grief. The guidance system needs some kick in the pants. <laughs> I have a feeling suit lady's behind it, you know. She has evil intentions. I'm just making that up. <laughs> she keeps us from throwing up in our exosuit when we're doing the Artemis mission, so I guess she's nice. Alright, not where I want to go, but thanks for playing. Let's put the brakes on there. There we go. That'll take a little less time. We're on the bottom of the planet. I guess these monstrosities live in the Oz of this planet. <laughs> Alrighty. Huh. Should I use a blaze javelin for this? Save some bullets? <laughs> Use carbon instead of ferrite to kill these things. Thanks. I just got hit in the head. <laughs> I probably should just add that to the goop they gave me. <laughs> Did they give me goop or viscous fluids? I'll have to look at it again. 30 nanites. Man. Oh, they gave me goop. Let's see if I can get to this. Cool. 
Not very often, man. That nasty plant up there. I think this gives us the best view. Move over that way. And then back up a little bit. Well. Give them a fighting chance by you. <laughs> ah! All right. No more fighting chance. Astrosities must die. <laughs> His leg was flying in the air. <laughs> this is so much fun. I could do this five times a day, man. <laughs> we'll have to make more bullets for the sentinels. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I don't think I'm hitting them very many times, but it's amazing how many shots they do actually take. I hit a T-Rex last night with a blaze job and, and he <laughs> he flew so high up in the air, oh my god. He was way, way over my head. <laughs> this would be a lot of fun with the uh, shotgun too, the scatter blaster. <laughs> Probably one shot. Oh, I ran out of ammo. <laughs> Don't subside yet. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> There's so much goop on the ground. I don't even know how bad these things hit. I, I've never uh, challenged that. They're digging in. Ah. Oh, did I get one? <laughs> I guess her if you're a better hit than me. <laughs> It's today I'm not doing very well, am I? Alright, let's see how much damage these things do. Well, yeah, that's pretty intense. That's quite a bit, actually. It's not enough to kill me. You know. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got the mission done. That's a respectable amount of damage. Uh, let's see, it was... That one was 30. I think we did them all. Oh, that is all of them, yeah. So, we need to deal with two more clots or oops um, advanced sentinels yeah it looks like we only need to kill two more quads and uh, I'm gonna need ferrite for that um, I used a ton of ferrite on that building it doesn't seem like it but I think it's the stairs and the roof slats sort of the, the um, oh, what do you call them the slanted roof pieces. I think it is. There's the ship. <clears throat> so, I mean, you know, I have like six, uh, well, we'll just look. I have six, uh, defense shields. So there's three, and there's three. And I have six S class life support. 
There's three in the... Oops. There's three right there. And, uh, so with that, you know, you can take a bunch of hits from the monstrosities. They're not nearly as bad as they used to be. All right, let's find our missing person. He's around here somewhere. He is. Oh, he's on the other side of the planet. Way too far away to skim the surface with. Flight times. Welcome to the dark side of Domino Tau. <laughs> All right. I'll take this landing pad. <laughs> My legs are kind of sore. I had to go uh, to the grocery store again today because I forgot something yesterday. Good grief. Calm down. Gecky people. And uh, boy, about halfway uh, through shopping, I reached down to a bottom shelf to pick something up. Uh, saltine crackers. And uh, my back said, oh, this is the moment. You're not going to be able to feel your legs anymore. And uh, that causes a lot of pain, but mostly I just can't feel my legs. <laughs> so I get a bit wobbly. Everyone looks all concerned. <laughs> it's like, um, I'll be alright. Just like, you know, leave me alone. <laughs> Grabbing a hold of someone that's falling is never, never the right thing to do. Try to, you know, unless they've fallen off a bridge, try to, you know, ease their fall. But uh, trying to s prevent them from falling isn't the best thing. Because it hurts too many parts. We found you. <laughs> Uh, let's see what this guy has for sale. Oh, two nav data. I'll take that. Don't need salvage tech modules anymore. Alright. We got some sentinel killing to do to clear out the rest of the missions. And, uh, buy items from the Galactic Network. Yeah, I still don't see that or whatever it was called. Now I can't even remember what it was called. If I saw it, I would I would recognize it, but here we go. Uh, let's see. Just advanced sentinels, that's all we have to do, right? And so we need to kill two of them, and we have no ferrite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No ferrite. Well, let's get some ferrite. And, uh, no, not carbon, but thanks for that donation. <laughs> we'll put it into the house. There's some ferrite. Not much, though. Oh, the uranium helps. <clears throat> Come on, render. Not getting any ferrite here. There's some.
<laughs> I don't think I affected that thing at all. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of stuff I don't really need, but uh, it's a heck of a lot faster, I'll tell you what, than standing there and shooting stuff with your mining beam. Come on, rocks. That's all carbon, except for those big things. There's some. How much have we got now? 395. A little bit more. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Well, that's not good. I don't know how many walkers it's going to involve. We just need two uh, dogs. So there's not a lot of ferrite out of here, is there? I think that's actually sack venom. <laughs> All right. Try to get some doggies. We only need two, so we're not going to be here for very long. And uh, we will grab a little bit more ammunition, just in case. The last time I tried to just get dogs, I ended up having having to fight two walkers to get there. Okay, four thousand bullets ought to do it. Where's that guy? We don't know where they're gonna come from. <laughs> there they are. That's a good place for shotgun. The shotgun's pretty good at dealing with the small sentinels. But only one. Where? Over here. Hi! Where's the dog? If the dog's not coming, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one is the dog. I know that one isn't. <laughs> oh, we haven't done the saving chart thing here. <laughs> Sentinel walker detected. It's amazing to me, a lot of people don't know this, that walker doesn't walk in until you shoot your gun. <laughs> you didn't bring any dogs with you, did you? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Him. I thought that would be a cool place to do it. Whoops. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed because I'm scanning. Oh, that's a garage. 
<laughs> this is kind of a not great day here. <laughs> Too far away. Get a little bit closer here. This is not the better gun. The uh, permadeath guy has a much better gun. Which isn't really that surprising, you know. I guarantee you I put more effort into that um, into that multi-tool than I did this one. I just love the way that they stamp their feet, you know, you don't want to get hit by those plasma gra grenades or whatever that is. They hurt. <laughs> Stay a step ahead of that. There he goes. Oh, I gotta go over there. There's another walk of brain. Hi, pineapples. Alright, where's the dog, though? That's all I really need to know. There they are. You miss me. <sighs> um, I knew if I didn't pick up that dog brain right away, I was going to lose it. Is that it over there? It just looks purple. Huh. There it is. <laughs> Ouch! He got me in my bottom. <laughs> That's where I'm going here. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That's the last one. Down he goes. Alright. Um, where's the ship? <laughs> Cause I don't know. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, that was the problem I had last time. I can't get far enough away from the carnage to actually take a picture. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right all of our missions are done I think let's see bold brawl return to mission agent return to mission agent we have a clear board woohoo and uh, in between today and tomorrow sometime I'm going to go station to station like I did before and stack missions. Hopefully I'll be able to find some that are just, you know, really stackable and not like local, like finding, uh, finding people and stuff like that. Um, oh, there's an ancient ruin, another one. Because that's really a lot better. What is that? Lots of buildings. Are we clear yet? Good grief. <laughs> All right. We cleared our mission board. We did a trench run. We looked at Bridge House, which has a lot of work to go, but oh god that was really a lot of work i didn't want to film that because it involves some um naughty language <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> but the reality is placing arches uh way 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 over your head like that is really hard and i got a hand it to zane and i said so in discord that's complicated stuff man I, I'm 20 years older than him, but it's still complicated for him. So you gotta give that that guy a lot of respect. He works hard on those on those builds, and I can sit there. One of my favorite streams of his is building, and just watching him just snap those pieces in and work it out is so interesting to me. I built a lot of bridges. Uh, because I like building bridges on this game, but I think that's probably the most complicated one. It's not even close to the biggest. Um, I built a bridge that required two base computers, one at each end. It went from one island to another one, and uh, that was a big bridge. <laughs> All right, roll in those nanites. Oh. And I gotta try to remember to buy some ferrite. <laughs> or find a snow planet where it's easier to farm ferrite with the positron. <laughs> Good grief. Oh. He's kind of a cute geck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is cash and prizes stuff too. I guess I was kind of thinking they were all nanites, but that was a level seven merchant skill. That was awesome. All right. <laughs> Photographs. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to buy some ferrite. I'm going to stack up some missions. And tomorrow we're going to wipe out a few dozen missions uh, in just a little while. Because uh, except for the photo missions, uh, the sentinel missions and a bunch of the other ones pirate missions things like that you can stack up pretty good and uh, get loads and loads of nanites and points and cash prizes and all kinds of good stuff and then uh, later on uh, in the week we'll uh, finish up bridge house and uh, finish up the guppy and we're going to start traveling pretty soon towards uh, one of one of either two um, hubs. We're either going to go, well, I think we'll go through uh, the Veen Sky Shallows, through the Geknit King, 
on our way to the UAS because we're closer to the GNG and um, a lot closer to the GNG and uh, so we'll we'll start traveling in that direction all right thank you so much for watching have a great day